Ethan, are you all right? I... I killed a man. <laughs> I had no choice. I had no choice. You're not the origami killer, Ethan. You're not responsible for those murders. I can prove it. That changes nothing. Saving Sean is all that matters now. She's still asleep. No goodbyes, no explanations. I'll just leave before she wakes up. guest. All this time and I had no idea. Ethan, what's the matter? I thought I meant something to you. Listen, I... You're a pretty good nurse for a fucking journalist! <gasps> Ethan, I, I, I wanted to tell you, but... What kind of article were you gonna write? My life with a serial killer? No, no, no. How I caught the origami killer. Maybe you'll get a book deal. I hope it was fucking worth it! Ethan, it's not what you think. I... You lied to me, Madison! All this time you fucking lied to me! I thought you wanted to help me, but you're only thinking of writing a fucking book?! It's true. I'm a journalist. And I knew that you were the father of the boy who had disappeared, and... 
and I wanted to cover the story. But then I saw what you were going through to save your son, and, and I understood how much you love him. I wanted to tell you the truth, but I couldn't. I was afraid that you, that you may not believe me. I was afraid that you'd ask me to go. All I want is for you to find your son alive. And when it's all over, I want to be with you. I'm sorry, Ethan. I'm so sorry. You're leaving, aren't you? It's the last origami figure. The last letters, then I'll know where Sean is. Take care, Ethan. I can't lose you now. God, I don't want to go. Look, it'll only take a couple of days. Long enough to get this resolved. I can't just wait while you confront my son's killer. It's the only way, Lauren. Trust me. Now go stay with your mother for a few days. And I'll come and get you when this is all over. Tell me who the origami killer is. I want to know who killed my son. Listen, when I'm done, I'll tell you everything I know. I promise. <laughs>